Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Apple ID and more specifically, I'm gonna show you how to set up a new free Apple ID account. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with the Apple ID, basically what it is, it's going to be your username and you do need an Apple ID in order to use a lot of the different Apple services like iCloud or the App Store. But how do you set up an Apple ID for free? That's what we're gonna talk about. So I have this iPhone here right now and you can register your Apple ID either through the browser or an iPhone or an iOS device. For me, it's just easier to film here. So I'm gonna go through the settings app here on my iPhone in order to create a new free Apple ID. I'm gonna click here now. All right, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, the settings tab pops up for your iPhone. And if you wanna go ahead and set up a new Apple ID, first you'll need to sign out of your Apple ID right here. I've already done that. If you need help with that, be sure to go back and watch my other video that describes in detail how to sign out of your Apple ID on an iPhone. But I've already signed out on this phone, so I'm gonna click on this blue line right here at the top called sign in to your iPhone. All right, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, Apple is asking me for to sign in with my current Apple ID. But if you don't have one, you can easily recreate one right through this screen. All you want to do is click right here, don't have an Apple ID or forgot it. I'm going to click there now. Next, if you want to create a free Apple ID through your iPhone, you want to click on this top line, create Apple ID. I'm going to click there now. Next, you want to go ahead and enter your name and birth date. You can go ahead and put in a fake name and birth date, but I would suggest that you use your real name and real birth date. That way, if you get locked out of your account, it's easier to verify your account and easier to retrieve your account. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in now. Okay, so I went ahead and entered in all of the required information in order to create a new free Apple ID. I'm going to click this blue next button up here. All right, next you want to go ahead and enter the email address that you want associated with your new free Apple ID. Make sure that this email address is not one that you've previously used on a different Apple ID. I'm going to go ahead and enter my email address now. Okay, I went ahead and entered in my email address, which will be my new Apple ID. I'm going to click this blue next button here on the top right. All right, next Apple wants a password for my new free Apple ID. They give you instructions down here, letting you know it must be eight characters, includes a number, uppercase letter, and a lowercase letter. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in off screen now. Okay, I went ahead and entered in my new password for my Apple ID. I'm going to click this blue next button now. Right next, Apple is asking for the phone number that will be associated with my new free Apple ID. Make sure that you use a different phone number than any other Apple ID that you had previously. I'm going to go ahead and enter my phone number off screen now. Okay, I went ahead and entered the phone number and then you can choose how they're going to verify the number. You can either do a text message or phone call. I like to do text messages, so I'm going to go ahead and choose there now. All right, next you want to go ahead and enter the text message code that was sent to your iPhone to create your new free Apple ID. I'm going to go ahead and enter that code in now. Okay, so I went ahead and verified the text message that Apple sent me for my free Apple ID. Next, the terms and conditions pops up. So you want to go ahead and read through that, make sure everything looks good to you. If so, go ahead and click this agree button down here on the bottom right. Next, Apple's asking you to agree to the terms and conditions. Once again, I'm going to click agree. Right now it's signing me into iCloud. Okay, next Apple's asking me to enter in the iPhone passcode that I I use to unlock this phone and that's going to be associated with my Apple ID. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in now. All right, now it's processing. All right, next Apple's asking me to verify the email address that I have associated with my new free Apple ID. So they're going to show the email address right there. You can use a different email if you'd like, or if you want to go ahead and verify the one that you listed, go ahead and click on this blue button right here. I'm going to click there now. Okay, next Apple's asking me to verify the email address. They sent a code to that email. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in off screen now. Okay, I went ahead and verified the email and then I'm brought back here to the Apple ID screen. Now I am signed in, as you can see right here, and I now have access to iCloud, iTunes, find my iPhone, and then my new Apple ID is listed right here at the top. So that's the easiest way I know how to set up a new free Apple ID. If you happen to know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below, let the rest of us know. But the whole process from start to finish is probably going to take about 16, 17 minutes. So just be aware of that with the verification and entering in all the different information. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.